Are you struggling to find the best way to use your tags in Evernote? Well, in this week's episode, I'm going to show you a way of making them much more intelligent. Hello and welcome to another episode of Working with Evernote. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode it's all about the tags. So if you're following this series then last week it was about notebooks and a way of you know getting the most out of notebooks so that the notes that you really want to see are at the top. Well in this week's episode I'm going to show you how to use search in a little bit more of an intelligent way because Evernote search is one of its most powerful features and I don't think we all actually get the most out of that search ability. So in this week's episode I'm going to show you a quick tip that you can use to really drill down and get to the notes that you really want to see when you want to see them. Now before we go into Evernote though I would just like to say if you do get any value from this video at all then please hit that like button below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet I would be ever so thankful if you would subscribe. Okay let's go into Evernote now and I will show you how to use tags intelligently. Okay so we all know or I've been telling everybody about the quickest way to search if you are a Mac user. Now I know I'm fully aware that this does not work on Windows so if you're using a Windows machine look away now. For those of you using a Mac then all you need to do is hit Command J. When you hit Command J you can actually bring up a search box and I'm going to type in James Bond because this is one of the best ways for me to explain this to you. So what I've done here is I've got hundreds and hundreds of notes, actually just over a hundred notes related to James Bond. It's one of my biggest interests in life. I've been totally absorbed in the James Bond phenomena since around about the age of 11 years old. And over the years I've collected quite a lot of articles related to James Bond and in particular James Bond clothing and as you can see up here I have a number of tags already tagged here for this particular note and I've got one here which will be probably books to buy James Bond so I've got all related to books I've got cooking here which actually I'm not into cooking so I don't actually have a label for cooking but I do have cooking here I've got here James Bond clothes and related to James Bond. So this is a Turnbull Asset. So you can see I've got hundreds of clothing in here. Now the thing about James Bond is that James Bond, whenever he's in the city, wears suits and shirts and ties. It's the traditional James Bond uniform, if you like. But once he goes off into a distant country somewhere to save the world, James Bond usually switches to casual clothes. Now that's an area that I'm particularly interested in these days. These days I very rarely need to wear a suit, I don't go to an office as such and most of the companies that I work with here in Korea are now casual wear so I don't very often have to wear a suit. So I'm more interested in like the formal casual clothing. But how do I do that? I can create a tag called casual clothing but that could also include other stuff not related to James Bond. Now the thing is obviously we all know Evernote has got a search and we can search our notes from here. Now I'm going to show you something that I created a little bit earlier which is notes tagged like this and what I've done is Bond clothes and it doesn't find any notes at all. And this is something that I've done and you can see up here tag James Bond tag casual clothes nothing there. So what I've done is, what I realize you have to do if you really want to get into this is you need to create these underscores between two names if this is going to work. So what I want to do is I want to narrow down this field to just the casual clothes that I've got done. So what we do is we go into the search and I type tag colon and James Bond. And so that's the first one and then space. Now that's bringing up everything again related to the clothes and what I also want is tag colon casual clothes. So now what's happened is when I hit return 
all these notes now have removed except for the ones with casual clothing so as worn by James Bond so we've got the uh, the turtleneck sweater that's done by uh, N Peel and we've got here we've got one like these are the casual clothes so the polo shirt which is very big the the, <laughs> the polo neck shirt which I do have a sweater like this I think that's awesome and we've got all sorts of clothing here this is one of my favorite uh, casual clothing setups as well so you can go and I found the company that makes these shirts as well. So in the movies, James Bond play, plays, wears two and people find great sweaters. So I have these and I've collected all these things over the even the cream safari jacket that Roger Moore was very famous for wearing. And also I've got the place where I can buy the scarves as well if I really wanted to get a scarf um, that way. So I have had all sorts of things that I can collect. So in the casual clothing, but the thing is, as you can probably see up here I, on the screen, hopefully you can see, I need to put in the underscore between casual and clothes. And it's something that a lot of people forget and they don't uh, what they don't know why it's not working. It needs to be underscore. So if you've got a tag with two names or two words make sure you put the underscore in and this is one of the great ways of Evernote search but you do need to use a little bit of what's called um, computer language if you like I'm not very good with computer language my brain doesn't work like that but I did learn that this that so when you're using your tags intelligently you can actually bring down the notes to whatever you want so so remember when you're creating a search filter for something so I if I want for example I can actually type in here tag colon uh, James Bond so I underscore Bond and also if I wanted I can type tag colon and then clothes so what that's going to do is that's just going to bring up everything related to clothes that ha that has the tag James Bond and clothes. So it's removed the books, for example, that were that I've also got in here. This is just completely related to the clothes that James Bond wears. And as you can see, I've got a lot of notes on that too. Uh, if I remove the tag for clothes and just have James Bond, then I'm going to get all the things like the books will come in and the notes are much, much longer. So this is one, I just used this as an example of how you can actually bring down your list of notes when you're searching within Evernote. And what it does is if you start using your tags intelligently, start thinking about how you want to, to, to put together searches when you're creating notes, you can really save yourself a lot of time. And particularly when your notes get up to over like a thousand notes or 6,000 or 10,000 notes. This is why using tags intelligently. And this is why I've always said that your notebooks are your structure that gives you that framework, that structure for your Evernote setup. And why you also want to create the tags are for your searching. When you want to search items specific items so as you can see up here as I mentioned casual clothes clothes James Bond because I know that if I really wanted to look for casual clothes for James Bond I have other t notes for casual clothes in here that are not related to James Bond but I can search for that independently but if I was looking for specifically casual clothes that James Bond wears then I can actually create a specific search for that and of course if you really want to do that and I'll go back into here because I can show you we've got that one here which is the casual clothes what I could do is I could save that and I can always forget how to do this uh, we, 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 we need to go into oh I've forgotten how to do this it's always it always changes but I can actually save the the I'm looking for it now <laughs> Uh, it's one of those there we go we go into edit this is why it's, I wish Evernote would sort this out this is one of my criticisms why is it so hard to save the search why can't we save it from the actual save window but anyway so I can now save that search it's gonna ask me James, James Bond I can type in James Bond casual and that search is now saved so as you can go, if I go into my into here, I've now got uh, some of the James Bond casuals. So I've got James Bond there. That will bring up all my notes for James Bond, as you can see. And then I can go into here and I can go James Bond casual and it reduces it down. So you can save your searches, particularly if you're going to look for uh, 
notes from a later date. Always takes me a long time. I always forget because I very rarely save the searches. To be perfectly honest, I use the Apple command um, on the Apple system, command J. Honestly, I, I don't think it's possible to do on Windows yet, but surely that will be one of those improvements that I'm sure will come later this year. So there you go. That's how to create some intelligent searches, but you really do need to focus in on how you're tagging. Remember, tags are there to help you to find stuff and your notebooks give you the structure, it gives you the framework on which to build a great repository of your notes. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching this episode. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Thank you very much for watching this video. Now, have I got something special to tell you about. The Time and Life Mastery version three course has launched. Now, this course is transformative it will transform your life. If you find that your life is drifting from one day to the next and that you feel that you're not actually achieving your goals, then this course is gonna show you how to change that. It's gonna show you how to identify what is truly important to you. It's gonna show you how to find what it is you want out of life and then show you the steps that you need to take in order to get there. This course is amazing. The feedback I've got from versions one and version two have just been tremendous. It has helped so many people and I want this opportunity to tell you that it can do the same for you. I hope you will take a look at the course, have a go, take the course and start transforming your life today. This course will do that for you. Take a look, get yourself enrolled and hopefully I'll see you in the course.